Hey guys, Mr. Superfan here, and you can't see me on cam, but I am here. Here I am. Hello. So um, here's my new setup. I uh, you guys may remember the cheap rings I bought. Uh, I did actually make a TNA custom ring. But obviously there you go. There's the ring. Now I found the plain black one that I haven't edited. I took the sticker off, obviously, and I actually cut a hole. Let's see if I can show this with my camera. Use all the time. There is actually a hole underneath, and I've put my rotating display around, so that is how I've done this. So uh, yeah, I'm going to actually start doing my rear rumbler review. I know I forgot, and I actually started this last time, but we are going to do it again. I am missing two figures for the complete set, I think. Uh, if anyone sees any I'm missing, please don't hesitate to say, oh, you're missing such and such. Uh, here's a link to what it looks like, and I'll try and find that. So, uh, here's the Ray Rumbler review number one. This is the first Ray that was ever made. It is the tall uh, Ray. There's quite a few different models of Ray. This is the tall one. Uh, all the masks are the same, I think. Uh, all the way up to the very newest one. Uh, we have two gloves here. Which are really cool. We have the Mexican and the stomach. Falcon logo on the uh, Sadly, the is on all of these. You can actually see the sculpting of the mask detail on the back of the mask, but they never painted in for some reason. And the falcons are actually sculpted in as well, but it's very rare that they actually paint them. I don't think they ever actually have painted the falcon at all on any of them. So, uh, yeah, this is Ray Rumbler number one. Like I said, this is the first series that came out. And it's the full standard one. So let's give him a quick go to. Like so. Let's see, it's a main detail of the pants. So, yeah. Let's do Superfan 10 now. Please like, so comment. Bye.